Okay, welcome. Thank you for the Caroline for your extra effort in yeah. getting here. Appreciate that. Um, so we're um, calling me to order at um, six twenty-three. Uh, so in we counting. have seven minutes. We have seven, yeah, <laughs> tried seven minutes to get work done. Uh, thanks for coming. Recognize Matt DeGroote is here with us tonight, and Christy Flynn, and I don't know. Sue Bettman. Sue Bettman is our our videographer, and Allison um, Cornwall is on the. Uh, telephone with us. Um, so, um, call to order discussion agenda is, um, well, it should be the, okay, discussion agenda is um, the Middlesex uh, Town School District warning um, for presenting the budget to a community on town meeting day. Um, is there a motion on that issue? I will move to, what do I, um, so can talk, um, warn the budget. to yes. warn the budget on town meeting day. Is there a second? Mm -hmm. I'm second it. Um, and I think we need a problem. Allison, can you hear us? I can. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, discussion? I'd just like to be super clear about what's, um, what we're doing so right. um, that would be great <clears throat> somebody who knows could enlighten me <laughs> okay so we um, we adopted a budget right uh, at our last meeting uh, and um, but we did not warn the budget right okay. um, I don't even think we had a discussion about whether to warn it or not warn it um, is my recall um, so I thought the discussion to warn it came before we adopted it my recollection was that Bill had said there wouldn't be a budget ready for town meeting day, and that when and it was basically not so much happen that that part wasn't during the budget discussion, but during when we were prioritizing our agenda. I kind of just remember him repeating like that's not priority because we won't be able to warn it anyway. Okay, um, and. Did you say why? My recollection is it had to do with a change in software that they that was like put on them from the state mm -hmm. that they were required to use and sort of learning that new infrastructure and transferring everything over. Plus that they are working, um, they've been instructed to work as though the merger is that what we call it? Yeah. <laughs> is going through. So that means pulling all the budgets and um, that just takes a little more time and they, with the combination of the two, couldn't have it in front of us by town meeting. Okay, so I, uh, okay. So my, my understanding is that the- I'm so sorry to be troublesome, but are people saying things or are we still in a time of no speaking? That's what I was afraid of. Are you only hearing when Brian's asking you if you're hearing? Yeah, so when you were okay. talking, yeah, she so, didn't hear Chris open the meeting. Um, so without me, this is just going to warn, right? Um, it is, but let's, you know what, I think if we came close and just had a conversation. Very, with, very intimate <laughs> conversation. Yeah. <laughs> like we'll be at the breakfast nook. Great. Okay, is this better? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so uh, there was a, a motion to warn. Um, the budget for a vote um, by the town at town meeting, and now we're in the discussion section. And we were Great. talking about uh, how we adopted a budget at um, our last meeting, but did not warn it. And Caroline was, um, um, I, I said that I didn't think we discussed warning it, actually, um, and Caroline was going through a, what her recall of conversation about whether a budget would be ready or not uh, for us to warn, although we adopted a a very specific budget but do you want to finish out your thoughts please yeah just that I thought um, that it just wasn't possible to have the details ready for town meeting day and it might have been that they weren't ready for the town report um, so I know for me I wouldn't expect voters to vote on a number without being able to look at the specifics 
Um, we do a lot in terms of informing where that decision comes from. There's a PowerPoint presentation that people have access to. I wouldn't um, feel right asking people, I wouldn't be really confident for sure that it would pass or that even if it passed that people would be able to stand behind it um, if they couldn't see the detail. And I got the sense that central office couldn't provide the detail to the community or even to us by town meeting day. What, I, I'm not clear why we couldn't take what we had, I guess because what we had isn't everything, it was the highlights. I think, I think we had the budget though. I mean, the, and, and Christy uh, in her packet printed out the 16 pages or so. I mean, usually the in the town meeting budget, it goes over like, like specific salaries for specific people. Like it gets pretty detailed. But that's not from us. Um, it really, that is a separate document that comes from um, central office. Right. And so that doesn't, that, Right, so I'm saying they won't have, that. they won't have that available is what, that's my understanding. Okay, I, okay. Um, one, just one piece to add is, um, uh, it's my understanding that we either need to warn the budget, uh, be, vote on the budget on town meeting day or on town meeting day, name a specific date upon which we will do this. Um, according to statute. Um, so I wish I had my phone. It is in So Fox then would we have to warn that vote? If we do not, in fact, plan to vote on a budget on town meeting day, we have to have identify another date. I don't know whether we need to do that tonight. We probably do. Because we would have to warn what the vote would be. Right. That, that is, that is sta according to statute, you know, prior to Act 46, right? So, so what I, because as far as I understand is that, you know, Act 46 is, has set into motion a completely different process for us that does, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we aren't um, going to be voting on it at town meeting days because there is, there is not going to be a budget because that's not going to be, that process has to play itself out in order for there to be a final budget developed by the new board that then needs to get warned to the town and, th and that this, so I guess, that's why, so I'm not sure why we would, if we would need to set a new, you know, a new budget, a new date now, I guess, do you, I mean, Matt, do you? I think we should look it up. I mean, if you, if you have insight as to... So, me? Yeah, do yeah. you have any... Uh, You're talking about the statute that... Yeah, just, it says that we... The, yeah. We, we either warn the, I can find the reference to it. I don't... I didn't look it up before I came to the meeting. I haven't studied the issue. Is, what's Worcester doing? Worcester's not warning a budget for town meeting day, as far as I know. And, so, Allison, and, Matt said Worcester is not warning a budget for town meeting day. And so, the, um, the, the process with Act 46... Um, is that the current board still has the authority to present an operational budget. Um, there is a hearing on February 15th um, right. that if there's an injunction issued would mean that um, the transitional board would not be um, doing anything, or the, or the seated board actually, the seated board um, from the merged union, um, which I think is that that votes on April 2nd, so their first organizational meeting is April 3rd, um, would not be presenting. Do you mean February or April? No, April. April. Okay. February 28th, I think, is the date for uh, petitions to be in. Um, April 2nd, I believe, is the uh, date for election of, uh, of the merge board, there, yeah. merge board members. Not transition, the, but the not merge Not transition, board. merge yeah. board. And then I think February 20th is the transition okay. board. Um, and then April 3rd is their first organizational meeting. Um, and so <clears throat> if an injunction is uh, granted, then all that stops um, in terms of Act 46. Uh, and um, we have the responsibility of um, presenting a budget to our community. Um, it's my uh, suggestion and opinion that um, if we present a budget to the town and it's voted upon, um, and there is a, um, well, we'll know, actually, we'll know by then whether or not the courts will enjoy it or not. Um, if the court doesn't enjoin, then the other processes will proceed and that budget vote will be thrown off um, because uh, we will not be the operational authority uh, for the 2019-2020 
school year. And so we will present it, um, our budget, to our town. Um, and even if they voted yes, uh, it wouldn't be, it would not be the budget for us. Um, although, the way the <coughs> process is working out for um, the Act 46 mergers, that um, each of the towns are developing a budget and they're going to be essentially combined to present the first merge board budget. So essentially it will be um, part of that budget. Uh, but the force of the uh, if there's an affirmative vote, that that is nullified by so, the subsequent uh, merger. When I look at the two options, so February 15th being the wild card, which way it goes, yep. if it went that we were merging July 1st, 2019, and we'd had people vote on a budget and then they have to vote on another, I worry that it would really confuse people. It would upset people who already were sort of had fears and anxieties about the merger now suddenly to feel like they voted on a budget and now that vote you know maybe didn't count or didn't go towards what the end budget ended up being um so i worry that if if the merger was going to happen voting on a budget would really confuse people mm -hmm. if if we didn't merge and we didn't vote on a budget we just set a date um, and, and we vote on the budget later. I mean, I still have concerns that, um, I mean, we talked about last time about if we don't vote on town meeting day with the budget pass and people were pretty confident that it still would. So I feel like the least confusing would be to, to just hold off given that February 15th is a wild card. I see that either way it happens. There's really no harm in just not voting on a budget. I mean, I'd prefer that either way we could just vote on it, but since one way we really can't, I worry that it, the, the risk of confusing the voters far outweighs the, like, it's like on the one hand, we really confuse the voters and we have them vote on something and then have to come out and vote again. On the other hand, we can explain now that the vote for budget for this year is not happening on town meeting day, but happening at a later date. That, to me, just feels more, um, it puts the control with us, and it takes that February 15th date out of at least this part of the process. It still makes a big difference for a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. But something as important as the budget, I kind of just want, like, the less ambiguity as possible. So the, um, having it on town meeting day avoids a potential extra vote, too. Um, because if we don't mourn it now, uh, and there is a, an injunction issued, uh, then we have to have, we will not meet town meeting deadlines for warnings. So we're gonna have to have a, a special vote. Um, whereas if we do warn it, and it's voted upon in town meeting, when people are gonna be assembled anyway, um, and the, even if there is not an injunction, it, it is for, it won't, it will be a nullity. You know, it won't become effective. Uh, but we won't have a second vote on that budget. There will be a second vote by the necessity of the murder, you know, for, um, well, actually, this will be like the third vote, uh, because you have a second vote for uh, the board members, and then you have another vote for budget um, that is put forth uh, by the merge board. Um, so I would favor actually presenting it to for a vote for a town meeting, because it does no harm, I don't think. I, w I would say that um, I agree with Caroline, but that's one of my biggest concerns is the the, the confusion. It, so we're asking voters to vote on a con contingency plan is essentially what we're asking, would be asking folks to do on town meeting day um, unless there's an injunction placed. The only way we can have more than one vote is if we decide to have a vote on town meeting day that gets nullified. Um, you know, we have... That's all you needed to hear, Allison. <laughs> um, Chris was, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Um, I, I was saying that if we present the budget to the town, we vote on town meeting, um, it avoids potentially another um, special meeting, a special vote for the budget 
in the event that the injunction goes into effect on February 15th. Um, and that if we present- Did you hear that? In the event that, um, that we do get merged, as opposed to having a year stay? Right. Um, what I'm saying is that if we present the budget for vote on town meeting day, um, and we are merged, um, then there's going to be another vote anyway. But if we, but if we are not merged, there's a stay, uh, then we don't have to have another special meeting or a special vote to pass the budget because it would have already been passed. Um, and so my concern was similar to Caroline's. Can, can we reasonably disseminate information about the budget ahead of time for people so they know what they're voting on? Uh, yes, because we have what we got in the package today was uh, the detail of what's in the budget, um, just like, like we had at our meeting. And, and I don't think we get more than that um, in terms of, you know, other than the salaries that are listed. And that's, you know, that's... I, I feel like it breaks it out. I mean, salaries were just one example. Um, I think there are others that get, it just gets really specific. I don't think I actually I don't think it does. Do we have the town meeting uh, report? Go ahead. Yeah. So I, if you if it's of interest, I have the statutes that are that I think people are referring to as being relevant in the in this. Okay. Great, Matt's reading the statutes, Allison. <laughs> Great, yeah, okay. that's exciting. Um, I mean, I think you're hitting on all the issues I would think would come up, but um, the first is. Uh, chapter 16, section 562, paragraph 8, which says that the, at a school district meeting, the electorate shall authorize at each annual school district meeting an amount of money from all revenue sources to be expended by the board for the support of public schools. And except for one-time purchase items that the board warrants as a separate article, the board shall determine how the authorized funds shall be expended. So that seems kind of a general blanket thing. So that's so what we have that. That's our current. That's what the electorate is supposed to do at an annual school district meeting. Yes. Which is town meeting. It doesn't say doesn't that. Well, it doesn't that. say that. I, mean, I think that it's, there is some place else where it says a specific period of time in which it's supposed to occur. There's a place where it says it may be designated as the town meeting, day, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be. The other statute is much longer. I, I, I wouldn't want to read all of it. Uh, this is 563, paragraph 11. Section C, and there's several paragraphs, but it says at the school district's annual or special meeting, this is what a school board has to do, um, shall prepare and distribute annually a proposed budget for the next school year according to such major categories as may from time to time be prescribed by the secretary. And then that's A, and then B, B was repealed, I don't know what B was, C says, at a school district's annual or special meeting, the electorate may vote to provide notice of availability of the school budget required by the subdivision to the electorate in lieu of distributing the budget. I think <coughs> it's about how the electorate gets to see the budget. And then there's several paragraphs which says, any proposed budget shall show the following information in a format prescribed by the secretary. All revenues from all sources and expenses, including as separate items, any assessment for a supervisory unit of which it is a member, and any tuition to be paid to a career technical center, and including the report required in subdivision 242.4D of this title, blah, blah, blah. Number two is the specific amount of any deficit incurred in the most recently closed fiscal year. Number three is the anticipated homestead tax rate and the percentage of household income used to determine income sensitivity, et cetera. Four is the definition of education spending, the number of pupils and the number of equalized pupils in the school district and the district's education spending for equalized people in the proposed budget and in each of the prior three years and I think that last part I guess is what and, and believe me my understanding of this is very very vague but that people have been saying the agency of education is supposed to be giving those numbers or three year mm -hmm. averages or mm -hmm. something and that they're not they're not, they're not really yeah. doing that yeah so I mean, that, that's all the stuff that's supposed to be presented so um, it seems to me in terms of that annual meeting if we were able to move the date and not have it on town meeting day then we could make that meeting super informative and like whether we were merging or we had that one year, say that, say that the 15th, they say we have a stay. Mm -hmm. We would want to inform people about that and, and what it means. And rather than having 
two weeks between that decision and town meeting to have an annual meeting that we could set, let's say that it's like, you know, April 20th, obviously we'd pick something not vacation, but like, let's say it was April 20th, we would have a lot more time to have information, time for more of those to come out. Because I don't, I didn't see a packet that came today. I don't remember seeing our revenues. I remember asking about. I don't think we've ever seen the revenues in the town in the warning itself. Um, okay. I think the warning that was presented with the package. No, not is... the warning. The warning is pretty short and clear, and it's right. just a number. But then people can refer back to their town meeting report for all the details, like the the tech center and the um, revenues that come, you know, back from the state. So I guess I guess I would propose let's take town meeting off of our plate because there's so much ambiguity now. Set a different annual meeting. I wouldn't mind setting the date tonight of what we would want it to be. I would just want it far out enough that we would hopefully have all of that information so that we could do a real presentation for the town and maybe even separating it from town meeting, we'll get more attendance because in our informational meetings, we haven't really had anybody. Mm -hmm. But if we do our own and it's about the budget and it's about the process with Act 46, we maybe will get people and we can just use it to give out information and to be really clear. And then the confusion piece is, is a moot point. So maybe we, um, so let's pick a date. Um, and I don't, is anybody speaking right yeah, now? Chris saying, is saying so maybe let's pick a date, let's pick a date. Um, for a town meeting. Uh, or, or annual budget meeting, annual uh, or meeting. annual meeting for the school board, uh, and um, <coughs> kind of coordinate it with principal search. Oh, Toward that's a good end, idea. Yeah, end of the principal search, yep. which um, you unless know, we end up having to repost, but then we could at least give an update on the process. Okay. So, which is. Toward the end of March. And again, I'm so sorry. I'm hearing it's all right. Toward so the end. He wants to coordinate it with the principal search. Are we, we going to town meeting? Like, what sort of the gist of the budget? Because that's when most people are going to be there. I think we could publish something that says what we voted on. And we, I think we should write a piece that explains why we're not having them vote and that we'll have an, our annual meeting that this year it's different than town meeting. I think we should inform people of why we would do that. I have some concerns that our budget is not going to pass because we are over our little limit here. So um, the threshold, the spending limit. Not if we merge. Know that. Not if we merge. But if we don't. If we don't merge, sure. then then we are over the threshold. That is true. Potentially. Right. Potentially. Right. And again, we would know more on that by delaying this annual meeting. We don't, but at least based on our previous, I don't think we'll know until May or June. I was thinking May 1st when you said principal search. I don't think we'll be um, done until. I think the, well, the timeline I talked about. No way. Oh, well, he, he was talking about like late March. No way. Being finalized? Second. Like board approved? Site, site and presentation, yeah. Because so, they're talking about after February uh, break. Um, having first round interviews, yep. um, and then two weeks later, site visits, uh, and then after that, recommendation to the board. That's what we did last time. It was so still it could, snowing when we did our site visits, it, yeah. So it could be. No, but yeah, end it of was March, still snowing, but it was April. April. It was April break. Remember? Because the schools had different breaks from people who were candidates. But I think we're starting earlier this year. We are starting earlier this year. Yeah, so the, just the moves back the, the time frame a little bit. Um, St. Patrick's Day when we went and visited Amy's school. Was it? Yep. Yep. In Remember that? St. Yeah. Patrick's Day yeah. in Roxbury. Yeah. Um, so, since... So, so dates. Let, date. Does anybody have the school calendar so we don't pick a April vacation? Um, and there's conferences the first Friday, so maybe... Uh, not that that matters, just that's a non-school day. So, like, we wouldn't want to do the Thursday before then, I would think. Or do we want to keep with a Tuesday, just in terms of the norm of a vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is the annual school break. School break is the week of the 15th through the 19th. That's the Thank you. In April. In April. Oops. <laughs> I just took the wrong week off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something new it. today. It's, it's fine. <clears throat> I have to say, I really, I think that the, the disadvantage of not doing it um, in the town report is the, this, um, yeah. you know, 
I, so, I don't disagree. And so I think that if we can publish what we have, I think it does need to go to the printers tomorrow morning, so we should write up a little paragraph right now that we can agree on. I did yeah. draft the town report. Uh, report. Um, Good. And, and so we can add on paragraph. There's a number in there. That, yeah. Okay. Uh, and also with the admission that it may be over. Yep. You know, right. just. Yep. But as much information as possible. Yep. And we can just add whatever the date is. Right. Um, so you said the 15th, or the 23rd of April. Sure. Or, or either that 23rd or uh, the 9th. Can you 9th read would be the, week the before. 23rd would be the week after. Can we wherever you want to be longer? It's between February and May. That's just the piece that the state, it that they were delayed, it was the um. How the three-year average? I'm a little yeah. uncomfortable, Karen. The per people. Really okay, not, I'm that's not all right. Engaged in the so it, even I, so, I, it buys us I, a month and a half from what we would what I heard be presenting. In like cross traffic or to, something was that AOE was not providing some part of the data that normally is yep. included yeah. in all of this. That's because they, yeah, they weren't getting, they didn't have all the information in from some parts of the state. To even put it all together, I believe was the hang up at least when at our last meeting. I think that's what Bill said. I just want to be clear. I didn't come to the meeting with a strong opinion about this. I just am curious. But you came with the computer. I did come with the computer. Yeah, it was because I was do, I do email while I'm here. But what? I you don't give your full attention to us. Well, kind of. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Depends on what's going we on. We appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> so the furious typing isn't based on what you're hearing. No. Okay. So how do you feel about okay. that plan, Allison? That we set a date, we include it in our board report that will get published. We'll include the date, a little description of why there's a delay on the vote for the budget, and and that at the annual meeting we plan to give an update and sort of information on the process of Act 46 and our principal search. I would think that's fine. I was, can we agree also to maybe um, release the board report? Did the board report go up in the town in the town with the town report? Will yes. It? Yes, I think we should. That's why we're doing it. We're going to try to do it tonight. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Okay, so... Um, uh, withdraw the motion. What's it, what John? Okay. Um, and then I would move that we set the uh, annual school meeting uh, for uh, Tuesday, April 9, 2019, um, for the purpose of voting on a budget. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. I think I say aye now. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, any further business? Um, to discuss? No. Uh, we'll Do we want to just quickly discuss what we want to, what we wanted to say? Yeah. Um, I'm, I I don't have necessarily a, a thought, um, but again, I'm just thinking it's um, due to um, due to Act Forty, Act Forty Six. The um, I don't know how to. I would put in, if we want to make it neutral and informative, it's, to me, it's the combination of Act 46 and the lawsuit. It's it's the combination, because yeah. part exactly. of it is the ambiguity, yeah. and that way it doesn't, yep. we're involved in the lawsuit, and and we have Act 46 yep. going on. So if we just mention both, um, I think that makes it really clear. I'll, I'll say that we post, we, not postponed, but we're going to have school meeting on April 9th to consider the budget um, contingent on what happens in the lawsuit. And I would say because we'd have more data. Right. <clears throat> to assist with ma people making an informed yeah. vote. It, is it worth to say something like um, by by asking people to vote on a budget? At town meeting, we could be asking them we're to ask for to vote on for something that I'm not saying this well, um, 
that would be voided. I don't know. It's just right. it's, we like, wouldn't want to have. No, 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 I'll go into a little bit about mm -hmm. saying that we could have a vote, but if um, if by then we would know whether there's an injunction, it, it may be a wasted vote. I'll, I'll put in something like yeah. that, just saying. So rather than do that, okay. And we don't want to confuse. You know, what I, I'm always queasy about saying we don't want to confuse yes. you because it's kind of to me condescending, condescending yeah. somewhat. Okay. Of well, saying you know. Yeah. So if you we say that in the positive, yeah, we, will, we want we want things clear, yeah. and when somebody yeah. votes, we want it yeah. very clear what we're voting on. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in terms of um, principal search, I spoke with though just gen in generalities about um, committee um, formation, and uh, we talked about three teachers. One um, special ed staff, uh, two parent community members, and one board member, um, and it's comp comprising this. this no committee. pair educators. We had pairs last time. I thought that was um, very useful. I think they would be within the teacher. Oh, or, so staff. Or maybe a separate. Maybe a separate parent. I'm, I'm, I'm Are we following a similar process to what we did last year, where the community gets to come and? Uh, prob probably and we didn't talk in that much detail, but probably that. Um, any suggestions on maybe a different process I or an add-on to the process in terms of... Uh, I would say what I really liked about the last process was um, there was one person designated from um, <coughs> central office who, lit, who communicated the process, kept it um, really clear where the board had a voice because uh, we had a time to give input and we did the... We got to meet the principal. Was it an interview? It, mm -hmm. We did an interview, and um, so I like having. I like knowing who was responsible for it. I think if it's the board, it's going to get. Um, I, I wouldn't want that. I would. I like having a designated person, having the process completely laid out. Applicants like to see timelines, mm -hmm. um, and I think. That central office has done several in the past five years, and um, that would be my recommendation. Um, so, Bill suggested maybe having a an outside person at least conduct the process through the first round, um, and just uh, doing it as, as a, um, a is, measure is to anyone there? An yeah, outside yeah. person? <laughs> would we have to pay for an outside person? Um, even if we did, he he was thinking in terms of bringing the community together. Um, as a, um, rather than having a, um, someone from central office do it. Um, and uh -huh. uh, when he said that, I thought of um, Don Schneider, who was the interim principal yep. for a bit, because he had, and, and he had, you can throw out See any See if other processes name. are his strength, I don't know. But, and, but he also knows the community some I wouldn't and disagree the staff with somewhere. any of it. I would with a little sure distance, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. I think and he... He, under, he understands far yeah. more than he... I think he told, told oh, yeah. us about things too. And, and had his publicly. recommendations, you know. So I, I, I thought it was, he came to my mind. That's fine. Um, others, you know, they would certainly. I mean, I don't like the money piece, but that's, that's, yeah. I mean, what? to me, the question is, how much would we need to budget for that, right? right. If that's a thousand dollars, if that's five hundred, if that's three thousand, right. those are different questions for me. Okay. Um, well, we'd be explore, Well, be at least I think a thousand, it was three hundred right? a day. Um, when he was oh, I wasn't thinking of that. Okay, was, but you were talking about an outside for the. Well, if we're hiring anybody from the right. outside. Dutch well, that okay. So else. it was three hundred a day for leading a school. Right. And I think it might have been five hundred a day. Um, that sounds. Uh, I don't remember. Um. And uh, I think this process would be a lot different because I, I mean I don't know how many full days you would need, but. But it's not intriguing. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not process. opposed to it. It is unfortunate that we would need to pay someone when the other schools and us have been able to use, utilize central office before. So yeah, I, I Jen, don't. I thought Jen did a really nice job. Oh, um, I do too. From, from the, but he, and, and Bill was just proposing that or suggesting that as a first tier, not the second and third tier, in terms of site visit and then visit here. It. Did, I, I wasn't at the community night. If. I don't know if there was feedback that people felt their voices weren't heard. 
I understand why we would think that, but I feel like it might highlight even more of this, the state of where things are right now. Mm -hmm. And I think we're trying to move away from that. Okay. I also think we're in a different place than, than we, were we were two, two years, years ago, ago, and that Jen is not a lightning rod. Um, you know, I don't know if she's available. Um, what do you mean? That uh, it might be different, um, that, that she is not someone who people sort of have strong feelings Oh, feelings about, oh, you know that. Um, you know, I think she did she yeah. a very professional job. I, I would have no problem having her do it. I think if we were going to have someone else do it, they should do it through the entire process. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah if we get to pick, uh, I would pick Jen. I thought she did a great job. I think she's a fantastic facilitator and, um, yeah, hasn't hasn't been personally involved in any of decision making changes at mm -hmm. at Romney. Okay. Um, I, I was involved in that process the entire way through. The one thing I would do differently is that there was some level of discouragement about um, checking up on uh, candidate. Hi there. Hi. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, yes. Allison, it's wounded and I'm talking. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to figure out, I was talking about the principal search, and, and sort of as we got toward the end, I think we were kind of reliant on the candidates' presentations of themselves, and there was not a lot of kind of checking, um, you know, to sort of say like, oh, well, you know, what, you know, people that we knew or did, reaching out to people that we didn't know about, well, how do you think this person is going to, you know, handle a, so a given situation? So you mean reference checks? Not just reference checks, because Jen did some of that, but that there was, um, it was, uh, we just didn't, we're not prepared for, um, uh, I think, just trying to figure, you know, the, someone can present a certain way yeah. and they actually make different decisions when, the, when their feet are on the ground and we just didn't get that second piece of information. And I would put that personally under reference checks and I do wonder, and it's, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know whose role it would be, but I do wonder how deep we look when we are doing reference checks. When you are searching for a principal, you should have teachers on the committee contacting teachers, specifically the um, yes. Uniserve rep. You should have prin um, principals or somebody as close to the principal <clears throat> position contacting co um, coworkers, colleagues, and have superintendents talking to superintendents. I prefer personally when that's done after the interviews and not up front, because then it becomes a, excuse the expression, good old boys club, and good candidates get swiped out before anybody can even see them. Um, but I think, I, I don't know how we do reference checks, and if we only call people who are listed, um, then I wouldn't agree with that. I think that having, that looking more deeply into that, I would be in full support of. Um, and seeing what other schools, um, what other supervisor unions do when they're searching for a principal. But it's, I, you know, when I was applying, I even had a board member fly to North Carolina to shadow me for an entire day. Wow. Um, and they sent the one who was most opposed to me because of my age, and he's the one who ended up referring me the strongest after observing. But I'm not suggesting we go that far. But... It, some places have pretty intense, and I think when it comes to a principal and background checks, um, it should be sort of all in, like call anybody. So how do how do you think? Oh, the board members calling board members is another one. Like call. And how do you think the mechanism of returning that information to the committee? I think. Is anybody? It, uh, sorry, is anybody still there? No, yeah, we've, we've what's gone home. Yeah, the last thing you heard? We just asked him. Go ahead. Did you hear Caroline? I'm so sorry. You know, I'm hearing, I've been hearing static for the last hour, and every once in a while I'll hear somebody speak. I genuinely have no idea what you guys are talking okay. about. I heard principal for both I think like, the, it's been static since then. I think the voting part is done. Do you want to just get an update of this part after? I think it would be too hard to be part of the discussion. Is that okay? Yes. I am happy to watch the video if it exists or get an update later. If there's work that needs to be done, please just partition me some. Okay. And okay. otherwise, Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you. <laughs> okay, so that for me, the last question is where I think the it would be beneficial and the person leading the committee 
should get the information and it should be shared the superintendent and whoever leads that committee which we're hoping is Jen um, that all all the information would be shared given with the there. committee as because a whole or just I wouldn't, two? I don't know with some things be with being a small state I don't know that the committee has to hear all of the specifics um, but I think if there were concerns from one area or another sharing which area that like well you know that candidate didn't do so well with the school board check this basically getting a score of whose references in all the areas held out the most that I think can go to a committee mm -hmm. I, I think for where we live the committee knowing every single detail is going to make whoever's in charge not want to have a far spread reference checks and I would rather have them checked and not brought back to the committee than not checked does that make sense yes it's the, so you piece concerned about the person being checked so, so it would make somebody whatever. like right so if so somebody who's in charge of the committee knowing like well oh we're calling teachers that aren't on the list we're calling this like um see i think they would only be worried if they thought negative information was coming back or information that would have a, a chance of um because it was all glowing, uh, why would they worry about? I agree. Other it being shared with the committee. I agree, yeah. but I think sometimes if there's even with some negative feedback, it doesn't yeah. have to end somebody's career. No, I, I agree. And with you. Yeah. Um, on that. so yeah, that I I don't know. I would think there would be some type of a scoring system where the committee needs to know the the overall, not the specifics. <coughs> okay. Um, so. I would, I would also, I'd be interested, I guess, it, it, we don't have to talk about this much now, but, how, you know, how are we, what, what kind of net are we going to cast? Because I'm really concerned of us, our ability to attract someone close by that needs to do this job. Mm -hmm. um, I just I feel like we need to have a much broader, um, broader reach. Yeah, I, we should see if they're using School Spring. I, I'm not sure if that's that's what I'm we sure used last time. Are. It's I'm sort sure of phasing they, um, out, is what I heard. There's a uh, new interface, but I don't know if we're using it yet. Okay. Like, the other question that occurs to me is, are we, I mean, we've had a pretty rough road of it for about three years here, so are, does it make sense for us to advertise for an interim and just make that commitment? And I don't know. I mean, I, I uh, so I brought this up last time, and last time I wanted a two-year principal. Um, I think now our two-year principal paved the way for us to have a five to seven year leader. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, I, th I, th I mean, it, Don, Don didn't say a lot, but he did say our systems were a mess, and he said that people weren't ready, didn't want to change. Yeah. And I think that that was, that, that I do remember you saying that about two years, and I think that um, it, it's, yeah, I, 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 I hopefully some, some of the path has been laid, but you know, I, it's. Um, I wouldn't say the last two years have been a mess. I, I think a lot of work, important work, has been done. Yeah. Uncomfortable work has been done, and you know, have mistakes been made? Sure, I'm sure that they have, but um, I would hope that the, the next person coming in is. Is not is is is, is going to have more of the qualities of the more recent principal and less of the qualities of the a way of working with principal for that because even though that um, first principal um, got along with folks, that person basically allowed everyone else to run the show, and so I think we need a strong another strong leader. Um, um, I, I, I would say we should not, uh, if we don't truly feel we have the person we want, we should go with an interim. Um, just because I think it would be worthwhile, cause we, and we've done that before. I um, worry the people who apply for interims. Yeah. Are, not, no, it's it wouldn't different? be an interim. It would not be advertised as an interim. Okay, what so I'm so saying is that if we offered. don't get um, the candidate that we think oh, we really want. Oh, offering a one year? Then, then just having, or even just going with an interim. Then seeking an interim. Okay, so we're so not we talking about posting for an interim. No. We're saying if we go through the application, we may say 
given that our candidate pool wasn't as strong, mm -hmm. um, you rose to the top, we really blah, 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 but there wasn't a ton of competition, so we are comfortable offering you an interim position. Are you willing to accept it? And that gives us the ability to post mm -hmm. and have that mm -hmm. person apply the following year. Is that what your suggestion? Mm -hmm. Or if we don't have someone that we think we wouldn't want to have a long-term relationship with, just going with an interim um, and just saying, this is a one-year position with with not expectation that it's going to continue, and then do the search again. Mm -hmm. For an interim? No, for, for a principal. After that following year, doing another. Okay, when you change it from what it's posted as to an interim. I, I wouldn't change it. I would, it, I would be all in with posting for a permanent okay. position. But if we didn't get the candidate that we thought would be a good right. leader for us, um, just not settling. I hope they just don't not go settling. back then yeah, and you know. watch this video. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which part? <laughs> and then know why they're offering the interim position. No, no, wouldn't necessarily be any of the candidates offering the interim. I, I do it? agree that we... My only we, caution is sometimes when you get to that stage and it's interim, mm -hmm. the rigor, the search, it, look what happened when we needed an interim from end of February till June 30th. Mm -hmm. We got Don and he was great. Um, we almost got someone else. What happens is superintendents call the VPA. Mm -hmm. It is very different. We almost got someone else and it would have been not good. Is someone else? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> um, just make sure I will not be on the board, so I'm right. saying it now. Even if it's an interim, we're talking about one year of a school leader. We right. still want rigor. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, not a placeholder. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. And again, like I'm thinking, that Don was not. Don was just kind of making sure. Oh yeah, he wasn't that, a change agent. Yeah. He was. He did an interim, and that's what interims do. I don't want to lose the traction we have. I hope we get. I hope we get a great leader. Yeah. I think we are positioned well to do what needs to be done, and um, and to to get things back to where they need to be. Um, so I'm I'm hopeful. I worry um, nationwide. There's fewer principal applicants. Vermont. There's fewer, um, and our area in particular being so close to Chittenden County and having the salary differences so significant, I do worry. So we need to make it very positive, show and highlight why people, what is the benefit of a school of this size, of a community like Middlesex? Um, and that's what needs to get out. <clears throat> so um, how, many, how many teachers, four? Well, well, if we have the person, just let them decide. Um, I think we should have put it into composition of, yeah. the, of the committee. But um, wouldn't it just be what we did last time? Or did that what you didn't like? No, I thought the composition was great. So let's just use that. Okay. I, I thought, didn't, I mean, you were on it. Yeah, absolutely. And there were how many board members? But I thought members? there were two board members. Two board members. You, you were on as a community Oh, right. I wasn't a board member yet. Hmm. So it was but you and you... Carolyn Robert, right? Yeah. Was there another board member? No. Just the two. Just no, the two? and then you were the community member, but then Me, ended up Kyle being on the board. Kevin were all community members. You need two, two board members? Yes. I think it helps. To have two board members? Yep. Okay. Um, and, and the way we did it last time, um, I think you were aware, was that we'd had the larger committee, and then as it we went to do visits, really the visiting, the, committee, the smaller group of people who were doing the visits ended up doing a lot of the work. I think we did then meet eventually as a, as a full committee, but most of those decisions were made in the visiting in a smaller group. Okay, so four teachers, one para, one special ed, rep, two community, members and two board members so it's 10. You have four teachers right in and a para. I think you meant okay four, three. Three and four and total. Three and one. Okay that's fine with me. What was it last time? I'm trying to remember. Why don't, why don't we just ask that it be we do what we did last year. Last time. The only thing is I don't know if it was first come first serve or how it got done but I want to make sure we have equal access. We got an yeah, email yeah, requesting that's great and shows eager, but if there are others interested and they didn't even know it was going to be an option, so, let's give everybody a chance. So there have been a couple of contacts from um, uh, a parent and uh, a community member, 
And what it says that we're just going to put it out in, internally to the school if you're interested. Um, and I, I almost said self-selection among, um, amongst the, either the parents self-selecting who's yep. going to do it. Um, same thing with the teachers. Or they interview with um, us. I think that would be meeting, great. We have a special meeting yeah. for each one. <laughs> Individually, you're not going to be on the board at that point. <laughs> we'll have to have your hair do that. Yeah. If you want um, to see it, you have to apply this first. Okay, okay. so yes, so, I think that looks fine. Okay, any other concerns about or any additions to the process that you might want to see? Any additions? To the no, process? the site visits, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, um, but we okay. should wrap up. Yeah, I was going to say, so, shall we call it oh a night? Oh, my God, 20-minute meeting. <laughs> well, we spent 20 minutes trying we to get Caroline on the phone. Time. Thank you for coming. Okay, so um, I was like this. with no further time. business, we will adjourn unless anyone Perfect. Okay, and there is no meeting on Thursday. No meeting Thursday. Okay, okay thanks.